Hello and welcome to a new video about my barbecue controller. We want to save energy with our handheld device. Now that it's working, we want to save energy. And last time I checked that I could not measure the power drain from the batteries. I'm not sure why, but that's how it is, right? So, what to do? I thought, okay, if I cannot measure the, the current from the battery, I'm going to measure the current, I try to measure the current from the USB board. Here I have a USB cable, here I've plugged it into 5 volts, all right, and 5 volts going to here, going out here, going into the USB cable, into the ESP, yeah? coming back from the USB cable and back to here, minus, all right? So let's see if we can measure from our our handheld device here. I just plug. I'm just plugging the ESP. Uh, power it up, and all right, we have something. Seventy. Uh, now the display is on. Sixty-nine. Uh, Ninety-six, of course. <laughs> Ninety-six. All right. This looks like. This looks like this would be it, 96 milliamps. At I will add 5 volt at USB. I will write at USB. We have right now 90, 97 milliamps max. Uh, sometimes 92, 92 milliamps. Sometimes. Good. That's the status quo. All right. And I want to, to do the same tricks as we have done before, that we uh, uh -huh. this is also blocking. Good. Uh -huh. This is also blocking the, 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 the power supply. That we do uh, the same tricks as before to let our ESP sleep. Good. So I will plug this in. And I have already made some tests. I already made some tests. Uh, I'm not sure what I've seen, to be honest. Right? So here, this is this is my test program. Okay, this is my test program, my test sketch. Uh, I start. I just start the device. Yeah? Then I print enter light sleep mode on the on the uh, USB port, uh, yeah, on the USB port, and then I will sleep for 500 milliseconds, 5000 milliseconds, 5 seconds. This is what we need to code to put this into light sleep mode. Huh? Here, the Wi Fi operation must be in null mode, right? Here, we set the sleep mode to light sleep. Here, we set okay, the forced sleep is enabled. Okay. What we try is a forced sleep. Here we said, okay, when you wake up from sleep, please call the callback function callback and the callback function here. This is just putting out the milliseconds that I see actually wanted to know if the milliseconds are working, if they are counting or not. And then after this, you have to write a delay. This is then practically replacing the, the sleep during this delay this will sleep this thing yeah? and uh, then afterwards we proceed simply where we stopped okay so so here to sleep it will fall asleep for this amount of time to sleep we have to put it give, give it in microseconds so we have to multiply the milliseconds with uh, 1000 this is why this 1000 is here yeah? and then I notice Noticed it's not working. It is not even executing. Huh? Didn't know why. Huh? I simply did not know. I did not know why. Huh? Then I realized, aha, maybe, huh? maybe this is uh, because I have here a virtual machine. 
where all my programming stuff and so is on, and I have my real machine. Mm -hmm. And on the real machine I have also Arduino IDE, and I tried it, by chance, uh, with this, and suddenly it worked. Uh, suddenly the program worked, the same program, because it was synchronized via uh, OneDrive. <laughs> the same program worked one time, and one time not. And then, then I searched for differences, and the difference was that here, in Boards Manager, uh, I have here the version 2.7.4, uh, 2.7.4, uh, this was in on the real machine, and here I had 3.08 or something like this, later version, yeah, 3, 3 something, yeah? and with 3 something it did not work, it did not even execute, yeah? with 2.7 something it did work, I'm not sure why, yeah? When when we put, when I put here modem sleep, yeah, modem sleep is just turn off Wi-Fi, yeah, save energy there, yeah, light sleep turns off a little bit more. So I'm not entirely sure why it's not working with a newer version. Yeah? Maybe it never worked before, and I want to find it out if this is a reasonable approach. Okay, so I'm going to download this here now yeah, with the light sleep stuff, and then after this is downloaded. I try to measure the milliamps, all right? And then I will simply remove all this stuff which is necessary for sleeping and try to measure the milliamps if something has changed, yeah? Just put out something. Probably something has changed then, but we will see. We will see, we will see. All right, so we are downloading. Good. Is something happening here? Zero monitor. Yes. Enter light sleep mode at 10.68. At 15.68 we wake up. Call back. Working perfect. Exactly 5000. Huh? Good. So now we should sleep. Huh? Now this should be in sleep mode. Measure. Let's measure the, the current consumption of this device now. Where is the at uh, the end of the cable here, it's a pretty long USB cable, but I do not want to short it because maybe I need it. Put it in. Okay, we need around 16.6 .6 milliamps. All right, this program here only 16.6 .6 milliamps. No, well, it's less. It's it's really less than what the, the other project needs. And now I will just remove here, uh, remove all this stuff here, which is entering the sleep mode. So I just want to have the delay. And I'm not sure if in the delay, this thing, this has some internal intelligence. Uh, so even this test does not tell a lot of stuff because this has in some internal intelligence because um, it's a smart device and it might be that it will Ah, oh, to plug it. Huh? Device is smart, but not me. <laughs> now upload. Uh, that it automatically it enters the sleep mode automatically. Might be. Uh, because it's optimized for, for that stuff. Low power stuff. Let's see if we now need more milliamps. Maybe not. This might be caused by this delay, yeah? but our program does not use delays. Yeah? So, a good good news is that the millis are showing the correct value, so that my timeout library and stuff is working. Okay, what do we see here now? The output must be exactly the same. Yes, it's exactly the same. But what is missing is, of course, the output of the callback, because we're never leaving sleep mode. So it will not call the callback function, because we are never leaving the sleep mode, we never slept. Officially. Good. Remove this. See how much... <laughs> see how much we really consume now. Ooh! 70! Alright. There is a difference. 70 milliamps. Before it was 16. 
This is promising. This is promising. Okay. So let's try. Let's try to sleep. Let's try to sleep in our program. Somewhere. Somewhere in the main loop. Let's just snooze a little every every cycle. Little snoozy snooze. <laughs> this is what we need. Here, open. Let's see if we can manage some change. What are the what are the timeouts? Two seconds flash alert. Five hundred. Yeah, if we sleep, I would say two hundred milliseconds. Why not? Let's sleep two hundred milliseconds, or let's sleep two hundred fifty. Okay, it doesn't know. It does not know this this stuff. Why does it? Why is it? Uh, I will call this sleep time. Sleep time. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. I have to define the sleep time. 250 milliseconds. Good. Uh, and then I also have to to use this stuff. Yeah, include this. Include this stuff. Yeah. This is necessary. Good. Uh, now this should be known. This stuff. It is not because ah callback. The callback function, of course, the callback. Here will just I will do nothing. Callback. That's it. <laughs> Good. Uh, now we should sleep. Every cycle. Let's try. Let's simply upload this stuff and see if we are dropping from the hour 97 milliamps. It's really a lot. Huh? We will see. So it is working. Huh? The light sleep is working actually. I'm not sure why in the newer version it is not, at least the same code is not supported. Maybe I have to do something different. I don't know. It's uploading. What was the button update? Every 200, I think. Trend, buttons, button count. Am I still allowed to press the buttons? Let's see. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Do I get data? Okay, I get data, 23 degree. But the buttons are not working. <laughs> no, they are connected. Oh, yeah, yeah. Ah, before I deal with this, huh? before I deal with this, I will disconnect here. And I will connect here and see how many milliamps we are now draining. If this improved significantly or not. Ooh, flashy. Mm -hmm. Yes, but it is lower. It is lower. So it's worth looking into this. It's worth looking into this. What is happening? Do I still get? get? Of course. Of course I, I'm getting it because I already got here values. Yeah, 24. All right. Okay, we're draining. It's not a third, but less. Less. Okay. Hmm. What might this problem cause? What might this cause? Where's the buttons button? Buttons get buttons somewhere. I have to. Where was this? Because this analog button this is using right this is using the timeout at 200 it's 200 milliseconds mm -hmm. let's try to sleep only let's try to sleep only 50 
Why are they not no longer working? It's drawing lines, right? Why is the button no longer working? Is something with the analog input? 24, I'm not sure there is, but I cannot operate. Ha ha ha! Ha ha ha! Damn, I have to say. Let's remove this to rule out any other possibility. Okay, something's wrong anyway. Ah, of course, the battery voltage. <laughs> Hands. This is stupid. This is how I learn the flaws of my own constructions, right? If there is no power supply to the buttons and the power supply is coming from the battery, uh, if there is no power supply from the buttons, I cannot operate them. Turn on. Yeah. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Why? Why should it be simple? Huh? Brain needs to be trained. Huh? So, so I I put in these little traps on purpose, of course. <laughs> Uh, every teacher does everything on purpose. It's a rule. Universal rule. Okay. Good. What's this? Upload is finished. Good. <laughs> Button working? Button working. Good. Now, let's see how much how much power I have now this 50 milliseconds how much, how much saving, how much saving, how much, huh? how much, you need to tell me, plug it in, not that much, but half, approximately half, so, plug in, plug in, let's say, let's say again 250, because this should, this should work, then this 200 in the in the buttons does not really make sense. But this was much better, much better than before. And actually, then, then we should be fine. I wonder how much energy the, the background LED of my displays is using. I have, up to now, I have not connected the alarm the beeper, yeah, so actually I'm still free, I'm still free to, to turn this off. Yes, it's working, look at that, it's working. Wonderful, 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 okay. Okay, okay, all right. Let's once again verify the, the, the savings. Maybe we should also implement the energy saving uh, screen, screen saver, turn off the backlight. Let's see, 70, 80, 40, 33, 33, this is probably, I don't know, this probably has a reason, <laughs> but it's only happening here, right? If I'm using instead the batteries, let's have a look how this, how this is working, if I only use the batteries, ma. It's not flickering. So, I say it's a measurement issue. I say it is a measurement issue. All right. So we have now lowered the energy consumption of our thing. Let's say maybe maybe we should also introduce a, a dark that we are dark here. Huh? Yes, this will be next video. Introduce uh, power saving by screen saver. Turn off the backlight of the screen. 
this is going to happen next video. For this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.